I'm using Tag Dolphin and a three quarter inch flat angled brush. And I start with a half circle in the center of my forehead and then I flip the brush so the blues line up and I drag that up and around into a peak to create a nice center point for our crown. And then I pull two teardrops down on either side and then another little half circle on the opposite sides of those as well to create the base of the crown. I also pulled a couple ribbons going down from the outside part of our crown and then I decide whether I want eyeshadow I'm gonna do it on myself here I usually start with the heel of my brush and lay down that purple and then lie the brush flat and then pull up into a peak to get that cool layered look this is the point where you're going to want to spray the design with glitter when it's wet so it sticks and I just put a little on top of my forehead. Normally I kind of douse the girls so be, be generous with the glitter. Now I always start with a snowflake in the center of the forehead so you have a focal point. Here I'm using water activated face paint and a dauber and just a basic snowflake stencil and you can see that looks pretty good but here's the problem. Usually at this point my background's still wet behind this so I'm going to show you what I like to do more. I'm going to take a smoothie blender and I'm really, really, really loaded up and I'm going to press that over this stencil and look at the difference. Look how bright and clean and white and amazing that looks compared to our water activated one. Now I've loaded this incredibly well with my white star blends. You can see the fallout that's going to happen, which is fine. It's easily wiped off, but it's such a huge difference. And instead of fighting water activated paint and water activated paint and trying to put that back over something that's already wet when you use the star blends it kind of absorbs into your wet background and it makes it so much easier to use and you don't have to worry about overloading your sponges so if overloading is an issue for you and you get that wet sloppy horrible line work um, that you sometimes get when you're not used to using sponges or when you're just busy and we all overload them, use your star blends. It's awesome. So I really, really like doing this and you'll see I still haven't reloaded. I just wiped the fallout away. You can see my cheek stained by that snowflake too where I used some turquoise face paint, but look how different that is super bright white to almost faded. I'm actually gonna go over my water activated one. Still haven't reloaded my, um, my pressed powder and look how bright it is. So now at this point, after I do my snowflakes, I decide how much time I have and how much detail I wanna add. And I usually always just start adding dots and at least a few teardrops, some swirls and curls, but it's really up to you. This is by far probably my most popular design and most requested. I do a ton of these at events and the amount of detail I put into it all depends on what kind of event it is and what my line looks like. Sometimes I do these drop teardrops in the inside corner of the eye. Sometimes I add extra starbursts. Other times I stop right after the snowflakes because if I have a hundred kids waiting, it's good enough. They are always super happy with up to that step. But if I have more time, by all means, add detail because we all know detail makes everything that much better. But the base of this design is really great because I use this for all princess crowns. I just omit the snowflakes and then just add all sorts of different one strokes and colors can be used and you have a really, really easy princess crown. Then this is just a super easy snow, snow queen slash frozen crown. Now the last thing I'll do if I have time or if it's a special event is I will add chunky glitter. I usually still spray the girls down with my, um, my thinner, uh, finer glitter. And then if you have time, add that awesome chunky holographic silver glitter and it just takes all your designs to the next level. I hope you guys enjoyed this design. It is, again, by far the most popular design that I do. I do so many of them. And I would also say only do the eyeliner um, and eyeshadow on kids that are old enough. I usually don't do that on tiny, tiny kids because I don't like to get paint so close to their eyes. So use your best judgment on that. And I hope you guys like this design. And please like and subscribe.